GLP-1s like Wegovi, Manjaro, Ozempic, and pregnancy. I get so many questions about these two topics. First question, is it safe to take GLP-1s during pregnancy? The answer is no. Here's what we know at this point, and we have to remember when you talk about pregnancy and taking any drug or medication during pregnancy, it is extremely difficult to do those studies with the same level of scientific rigor and methodology that we look at non-pregnant people. So the short answer is we don't have the data on GLP-1s in pregnancy. So right now for midwives, for OBGYNs, for any healthcare professional who is taking care of a woman who finds herself pregnant while on these medications, the recommendation is to discontinue or stop the medication. And remember, we're talking now about the use of GLP-1s expressly for weight loss. We are not talking about the use of these medications for the management of type 2 diabetes. Next question, what if a woman is trying to get pregnant but also trying to lose weight before she conceives for the known health benefits that come along with that and part of her weight loss approach involves the use of a GLP-1 agonist. Right now, the medical recommendations are for that woman to discontinue or stop that taking that GLP-1 agonist two to three months before she starts trying to conceive. But we have to remember there's also a really interesting interaction between women losing weight and having an increase in their fertility due to the weight loss. And so it's not really a surprise to any OBGYN when we have women who are overweight or who have been diagnosed with obesity, when they lose a significant amount of weight, we're not surprised to see their ovulation return and some unexpected pregnancies or conceptions at this point. Another question that we get a lot of in OBGYN is about PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. One of the features that's associated with PCOS for a lot of women is weight gain or difficulty losing weight. We know that for women who have been diagnosed with PCOS, which is characterized in some cases by a condition of overweight or inability to lose weight and irregular ovulation, we know that in women with PCOS, if they lose about 5% of their body weight, that in a lot of cases, their ovulation will resume in a more normal pattern. So will these drugs have the same effect? We're not sure, it needs to be formally studied, but there are certainly enough clues uh, in parallel or similar clinical scenarios that suggest that yes, they might be helpful in helping a woman resume ovulation as it's tied to weight loss. Does Ozempic or GLP-1 drugs affect birth control? Directly, the answer is no. Indirectly, yes, there is the possibility that it can as it is connected to a change in their body weight. Another question that a lot of people have about these GLP-1 agonists or these drugs like Wegovi and Ozempic uh, has to do with birth defects. Now we know that the first trimester is the most critical time for organ development in a developing fetus. We also know that a lot of women do not even know they're pregnant until six, seven, or eight weeks of gestation. And so this is something that we deal with all the time in obstetrics. We have women who are, uh, you know, for a lot of other reasons, taking medications that are not safe for use in pregnancy. They find out they're pregnant, again, around six, seven, eight weeks, sometimes even later, and they immediately discontinue or stop those medications on the advice of their obstetrician or midwife. That's the best we can do. Uh, there is no data yet to suggest that there's a dramatically or significantly elevated risk of birth defects with GLP-1s, but that's very different than saying they're safe. 
we do not have the data. That's why we err on the side of caution. And it goes without saying that women should have these conversations with their doctors, preferably with their OBGYN, if they are in reproductive age or if they are planning a pregnancy, they should talk to their doctor about the use of medication any medication in the preconception period of time and continue to be uh, proactive about their health before pregnancy.